gene modification and uh, working towards the future of medicine, I mean, it's a big idea. Uh, but I think that the whole area is opening up. So we see one therapy after another in gene therapy that have to deal with monogenic disease. So what's a monogenic disease? It means there's a single gene mutation. And in those patients, we can replace that gene and they can live a healthy, normal life like the rest of us. And now that we see this great movement in gene therapy of success and actual cures, one-time treatments for a cure, uh, vastly the area is opening up and changing and people are getting more interested in the technology. Well, I had spent a couple of years working in regenerative medicine with stem cells, uh, working for a patient advocacy group and nonprofit. And when my son was diagnosed with diabetes and I started to actually look at the root causes of these disease, um, I just became it was just that epiphany moment. It was, it really is in the genes. I traveled to several genetic conferences and was, this was a, a sim, a just verified. So we can look at model organisms. We can look at model organisms that don't suffer from the same diseases that humans do and we can see what the differences are in genes. We can also look at different humans and, and certain humans are predisposed to some diseases and some are not and it is in the genes. So in that code, of life, you know, lies essentially uh, not only our benefits but our associated risks. And by changing those, uh, we can radically change the future. What BioViva has done to actually plan out and start to achieve some of the things that we need to achieve to radically change how we die uh, so that we don't die of cancer and Alzheimer's and uh, you know, heart disease and, and, and the various organ failures is to actually spearhead advocacy towards patients, spearhead education. We've started a bioinformatics program. We're selling kits so that you can learn about your genes. And we also have a partnership company that works offshore and offers medical tourism so that we can actually mix our researchers with medical doctors doing these technologies and see what the actual outcome is. This way we can actually speed up progress by decades. Whenever you're looking at new technology, the innovation is generally way above what the public understands. And we're aware of that. So that's one of the reasons that I'm here talking to you today is so that we can educate the world in a more expedited way about where technology actually sits and how low their expectations are uh, in order to you know, invigorate it and get them excited about the future. What would we want to be the end result of all of the work that we're putting in? Uh, we would like to be one of the first companies that gets access to how well regenerative gene therapies perform in humans, therefore expediting their use to the public. And you know, that, that's, that's the big dream. So we don't think it will be one gene that will cure biological aging. We think it'll be a multitude of genes. So on research and development, we're working with Rutgers to form a large capsid that can deliver multiple genes. On BioViva side, we're working on the bioinformatics program with researchers that will work with the third leg of the company, which is the medical tourism, and actually see how well drugs perform in patients so that investors can invest in drugs that will work rather than the 94% failure rate through uh, the FDA today. We, we just ask people to participate, advocate, and share information. So vastly medical tourism is for compassionate care and consensual use. And a doctor has to sign off on your care and you know it, it comes with a high bar of approval. Uh, as far as getting involved in genetic testing and participating in our bioinformatics, which is a multi-omic system that wants to solve the problem of the multi-ohm. So for instance, if you're just looking at your genome you know, and you want to know your risk for type 2 diabetes, it might, no matter how it's weighted, it might just be 47% of your actual risk. But if we also look at your microbiome, we look at your physiome, we start to look at your proteome, your metabolome, and what you're eating what's actually happening right in your environment, then we can, we can uh, have a better risk assessment and therefore help you in more ways. And then if you're interested in actually pursuing treatment, we have that option. Hey, thanks for spending a few minutes of your precious time. Remember, time is your most valuable and precious asset. So help us buy you more. Uh, join BioViva. You can find our information over there. Please like, follow, and share the information. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.